Good morning. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 13, we're told we dwell in him. Do you want a house for your soul? Do you ask, what is the purchase? It is something less than proud human nature will like to give. It is without money and without price. Ah, you would like to pay a respectable rent. You would love to do something to win Christ. Then you cannot have the house, for it is without price. Will you take my master's house on a lease for all eternity, with nothing to pay for it, nothing but the ground rent of loving and serving him forever? Will you take Jesus and dwell in him? See, this house is furnished with all you want. It is filled with riches more than you will spend as long as you live. Here you can have intimate communion with Christ and feast on his love. Here are tables well stored with food for you to live on forever. In it, when weary, you can find rest with Jesus. And from it you can look out and see heaven itself. Will you have the house? Ah, if you are houseless, you will say, I should like to have the house, but may I have it? Yes, there is the key. The key is, come to Jesus. But, you say, I am too shabby for such a house. Never mind, there are garments inside. If you feel guilty and condemned, come. And though the house is too good for you, Christ will make you good enough for the house by and by. He will wash you and cleanse you, and you will yet be able to sing, We dwell in Him. Believer, thrice happy art thou to have such a dwelling place. Greatly privileged thou art, for thou hast a strong habitation in which thou art ever safe. And dwelling in Him, thou hast not only a perfect and secure house, but an everlasting one. When this world shall have melted like a dream, our house shall live and stand more imperishable than marble, more solid than granite, self-existent as God, for it is God himself. We dwell in him.